All right, so let's do a quick little reading before I got one more reading in me. Shopping, putting on me, karmic relationship. <laughs> what? Let me play some music. What's going on? A body party? My body is your party? Okay. Whoa. Okay, okay. Somebody wants to <laughs> take you shopping for that punani. Child's play. There. Girl, that's just some child's play. Bump that shit like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Take you out to shopping. Some of some something. It's still karmic relationship, though. It became toxic and karmic. Because you're getting tired of this person. <laughs> Who am I talking to? Somebody feels like I'm tired of having to pay, buy something or pay for something in order to sleep with you or to get some. Somebody is seeing that somebody is only using them for money, male or female. They only come around when they, you have something to give to them. That's it. Closer to the holidays because they know you're going to give them a gift. Okay, closer to their birthday, whenever they see you, they know that a check is coming, whenever they can just smell or sense that there's some money around you, or when they just simply need something, that's when they come around. And you're starting to see that this is a karmic relationship. You only come around for my money. That's it, for my gifts, what I can offer you, for my food, whatever, for my place, for you to have somewhere to lay, because you didn't got into it with your mama, your grandma, your motherfucking auntie, your baby mama, your baby daddy. Bitch, I ain't stupid. Bitch, I see what's going on. You using me. Period. Somebody's using you. Alright? Spirit, what's going on? Somebody clearly sees somebody is using them and this is a karmic relationship. Spirit, what's going on with my collective? Oh, wait too many. for somebody to get into nature and enjoy themselves nature spirits get into nature pay attention to the signs and synchronicities around you psychic strength somebody has a look somebody got an intuition that is on point you've been knowing what the fuck was going on you know that this person is using you you know you know you are their sugar um person they come to you just to get some sugar some sweets, some candy, some rewards. You know that. So why are you running away from me? Why are you running away from me? Spirit been telling you a while. There's been a couple of dates or a couple of times you met up with this person, leaped up with this person, talked to this person on the phone. Right before they asked you for something, you already had a feeling like, I need to leave this alone. I need to end this. They only want me for my money. They only call me because they need something. You know that. You know that for a fact. So stop ignoring it. I feel like uh, I feel like for a month that you guys some look somebody need to remember you need to remember who you are because I feel like for somebody they only with this person because they're bored and they feel like they're not no one gonna love them this person loves me this person shows me a little bit of attention you're not remembering who you are remember your worth please do again some of you guys need to be focusing on children or a new opportunity a new a rebirth in your life okay a new business adventure that you have got going on you got going on or you want to get going on because again something told you a while ago i'm hearing like a month or two ago it was time this it's time it's time to wrap this up this situation is over and done with for some of you the fucked up the fucked up thing about it is i'm feeling oh your head has been so messed up clear your mind in reverse because you felt the distance you spell you felt spirit you felt the universe, your ancestors, breaking you guys apart. See, at one point in time, you used to talk to this person and get excited when they hit you up. Even knowing that they just playing you, gaming you up. It was just an excitement of them being around, right? Now it's becoming to the point where it's like, yeah, you can't ignore it. You using me. You don't want to talk to me. Now you're seeing clearly they have no interest in you. How can I say it? Like, before you were so happy to talk to this person, you wasn't realizing when you were talking to this person, this person's face was turned up. They was looking the other way. They was rolling their eyes. They really was had that persona, that energy. Like, can you please hurry up and shut up so we can get over and done with this? So I could, um, you know, get to my other situation or get where I need to go or you can give me what I need. Somebody is now starting to realize just how much this person cannot stand you. 
they don't like you, they don't value your time, they don't really want to spend time with you. They're just using you. Oh, man. I don't like this motherfucking person. Show me what's going on, spirit. Show me what's going on, spirit. Yeah, come on now. Come on now, spirit. Come on now, spirit. This person is a professional hoe. They a professional hoe, male or female. They're obsessive. They're sitting up there watching you and stalking you. That's how they know when to come in and rush into you to be deceptive, to come in and get what they want and leave what they can't, being sneaky, running off to their other person, okay? Because why? King of Pentacles in reverse. Their money is fucked up, so they need to come to you because you got some money to go shopping, okay? So they just come in and use their little wand to get what they want. And they leave you all discombobulated. Could be a cancer in here. It don't have to be. Somebody needs a place to stay. Somebody's also having car problems. Somebody needs you to fix, and fix on their car, work on their car. You've been helping somebody with their car. You've been giving this person your car keys. You've been letting this person live in your house because they've been wanting to relocate but don't know where to travel to. Okay. Fuck me back. Fuck me back. You love the way they fuck you. But you don't love the way they love you because they don't love you. Okay, show me what's going on, spirit. Queen of Pentacles, what? Come on now. Queen of Pentacles, nine of one and eight of cups in reverse. You, Queen of Pentacles, you the Queen of Pentacles upright. They was in reverse. We already know this, though. You the stable one. You the grounded one. You the one that got your shit to fucking together. And they know it. That's why they coming towards you. Because you the fuck, they the fucking king of pentacles in reverse. They losing all their motherfucking money. Going broke. Making bad business decisions. Bad investments. Spending on dumb ass shit. You exhausted. You tired. But guess what? You still moving forward. Because you know you, 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 know you got it. You fucked up though. You see that? You been through a lot with this person. You gave this person a lot of fucking chances. A lot of chances. And each time you done got hurt. To the point now you would have nothing. Look, all you can do is realize this was a, this Ace of Cups in reverse. This was a draining missed opportunity. It was fake. It was not something that was going to nourish me. It was just, they just drained the fuck out of me. That's all this person did was drain the fuck out of me. Clarify Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Nine of Wands, Ace of Cups in reverse. Somebody don't even, ooh, this person don't like the, fa the fact that you're psychic. You have good intuition. They call you crazy. Yeah, this person don't give a fuck about what you do. They think when you say you had a dream or you feel some type of way, you you talking crazy. That's fucking nonsense. The moon in reverse, four of pentacles, and three of swords. The secret is this person is holding back from you. This person is holding back from you. This person is also hurt and mad that you're not giving in to them because you tired. You tired. So somebody is used to like you. Ooh. I'm also hearing they can tell the way that you have sex with them, that you done and over with them. Yep, because she said, fuck me back. Somebody ain't been fucking this person back. Excuse my language. But they can tell by the way that you have sex with them. It's something that you don't do the same that you usually do. You changing that shit up. And they see for a fact that you are holding back from them now. You know about a third party. You know about what's going on. You know it's somebody else in this mix. It's something else that has their attention and it ain't you. You know. You know, you tired. They feel it. They know for a fact. I'm, I'm fearing some of these people is now talking about their intuition. They getting signs and synchronicities. <laughs> they didn't believe in what you was talking about, but now they getting like little, they getting little inklings and feelings that th something is going on. Yeah, they feel because they feel what's going on. They feel you drifting away from them. Clarify this Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Ace of Cups in reverse. <laughs> four of pentacles in reverse you letting go because you see for a fact what you're the high priestess you're a fucking psychic you're leaving the past behind your spirit guy's been telling you what the fuck it was going on with this person but you kept trying to give them the benefit of the doubt but you know for a fact ace of cups in reverse this situation is draining and it's, it's exhausting it ain't gonna be no new passionate love and beginning because they don't love you there is no love in here they only like what you can bring to the fucking table once again they're a fucking player they don't know how to sit in one spot. They, they just know how to be on the go. That's all they know how to do. They don't know how to settle down. Show me what's going on. Ten of Cups, Will of Fortune in reverse. 
and nine of swords and then this just came out three of swords somebody's heartbroken they hurt because somebody y'all possibly have a family with this person this could even be your family but they somebody knows for a fact that they're about to get some bad karma because you truly love them you truly had they motherfucking back what was that that wanted to come out nine of cups you are that somebody know they fucked up big time you called me whenever they called you you picked up you 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 did what you had to do you get what i'm saying you came through for this person they're not gonna find somebody else that's gonna love them like you love them you were their ten of cups you were their nine of cups they were going you were they were going to get their wish for fulfillment when it came to you for a fact because they already did and they know it they just got fucking selfish they got fucking spoiled they thought they could get it elsewhere. They thought other people were going to give to to them how they how, what you get. They thought these other bitches and these other men were going to give to them what you gave to them. And they seen for a fact that it was not going down like that. Now they about to get some bad karma for the way that they did you. And they know it. And now they having sleepless nights. Because they ain't going to never find another. Mm. Clarify. Ten of Cups. Will of Fortune in reverse. Nine of Swords. Ooh, we seven of cups in reverse. The high priestess once again in the emperor. Justice. Okay, look, somebody needs to realize that they can't fuck with you. They can't play with you. Somebody intuition is so on point, it don't make no sense. The high priestess and came out here twice. We got this psychic ability, psychic strength, and the nature spirit. Somebody is so tapped in with the universe, it makes no fucking sense. And so in, so fully in control of their life and of themselves and their money. Somebody is grounded. Somebody is the emperor. Somebody got it going on. And they know that shit. They know that shit. They know for a fact they was not supposed to have no other options. It's clear as day that you are the chosen one. You're grounded, you're stable, you're in control. Ten of Cups, you was going to get everything you needed out of me. I was going to give you a home, a place to live, a place to eat. You had my car, you had everything. You had it made the fuck out. But you wanted to have options, and now you see for a fact that none of these options were doable. Can none of these motherfucking options do for you what I did for you? It was all an illusion. They sold you a fucking dream, and you see that shit clear as day now. You see that shit clear as day now. Some of these people could have been, these other options could have said you were putting black magic on them. You evil. You, you They not a psychic. They not this. They don't know what they talking about. Some of y'all don't, don't even go as a psychic. But somebody is like a tarot reader or a psychic. This could even be talking about me for whatever. They see clear as day what the fuck you about. You manifest yourself to be the boss. The fuck? That's the only type of magic you did? You manifested yourself in a fucking boss ass position to be a leader, to be an owner. <laughs> you manifested to the point that you're going to always get your wish for fulfillment. You got the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Cups, and you're the Queen of Pentacles. You're set. You're set. And I mean, oh shit. Justice in reverse. It could be another Libra. It could be two Libras in here. We got Libra. We had Aries. We have Pisces. Cancer. Then we got Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, and what's the other one? Aquarius with the um, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. See, this person feels like they missed out on a, brand, a big opportunity when it came to you. Yeah? Now they want to hit you up and let you know that they ain't working and collaborating with nobody else. They just really want you. They're sorry for not collaborating with you. This person from your past that just flew out right here. Queen of Cups in reverse and Six of Cups. Some me, y'all, this is a mother. Some of y'all is a mother. Somebody didn't like your psychic ability, your psychic strength. They thought you thought you knew everything. But the truth is, you did know everything. <laughs> oh, she just thinks she know everything. You do know everything, though. And you showed them that. Somebody's looking at the past. In the past, and how they treated you and how they did not love you. They should have loved you the right way. But they did not. Somebody is mad because they did not give their love to you. They just only gave their wand to you. For their own good. And now they, they wish that they could sh sh express themselves to you the right way. They wish they can go back and give the love, to, and give some love to you the right way. Because they know they was jealous of you. The world. But this cycle has came to a completion. You are moving out of that phase in your life. I feel like you're just moving out of that phase regardless. Ace of Swords. Some type of truth is clarity has came through. And the truth and clarity is that you see clearly now 
what's going on. You've been seeing clearly, but you were just giving this person the benefit of the doubt that you are the chosen one. You manifested something great for yourself, and you manifested this for this person, but they just did They couldn't get their shit together, so they had to go. I also feel like this person sees clear as day of what they missed out on, what they're missing out on by being selfish as fuck, by not loving you. Some of y'all, this is a parent. They see they was not loving you the right way. They was jealous of you. They tried to stop you from going after your ambitions. Some of y'all are very, very psychic. Y'all have some a good intuition. Everybody has um, different abilities. But whatever your ability was, these people was calling you crazy as hell. Oh, you was crazy as shit. But in actuality, you know what the fuck was going on. These people were untrustworthy. Because of the shit that they was doing behind your back. How they was trying to use you and abuse you only for your fucking money, for your kindness, for your time. To have somebody watch their kids, to have a place to come um, stay, to have a car to come drive, to have some weed to come smoke, to have some food to come and eat up on, to have somebody to, to, to just to leech off of. They really was in competition with you, jealous as fuck. King of Wands in reverse is a jealous ass motherfucking person. Jealous and spiteful, envious as fuck. Yeah, sitting up gossiping and rumoring about you. Could be a Scorpio in here with this death card. There's about to be a transformation. Clarify Queen of Cups in reverse. Six of Cups. Five of Swords. Yeah, gossiping about you. And all he did was just sit up and gossip about you. We got five of, five of Swords and Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So there was something very shifty that somebody did. They did it on themselves to cause it to be a missed opportunity. For some of y'all, this person stole money from y'all and hid it. And that's going to be coming out. Yeah. So if you're wondering why this somebody is coming around from your past now that acted and did some fucked up shit. Now they're trying to smooth you all up. It could be a parent or it could be a lover. Okay, they're trying to do all this nice shit and act a certain way. It's because they're trying to hide the motherfucking fact that they done stole some money and took some money from you or a property or something. They fucked up an opportunity for you. And this thing came up in my last fucking reading as well. General reading that I did late last night. And I then did 12 Zodiac readings in between this reading. And this energy then came out again. They trifling. They stole some money or opportunity. Page of Pentacles in reverse. And they're trying to hide the fact that they did that. Yeah, they're trying to hide the fact. Some of y'all, they took... They didn't... For some of y'all, the reason how they took this opportunity away from you is by creating blockages in your life. They put you through a lot of hell, stress, and drama. They did a lot of shit to you, gaslighting you to keep you in this persona, to keep you in this in this mold or in, in, in like this fog illusion. So your mind would not be clear and it wouldn't it try to keep you away from this opportunity or this career path. For some of y'all, there's a certain career path that you were supposed to be going down and this person completely turns you away from it. Completely. Completely purposely the universe is trying to let you see it's trying to make you see this shit this person is jealous as fuck of you they did something shy see some of y'all is a sagittarius sagittarius and leo in here knight of cups in reverse it's just gonna backfire whatever they did out of jealousy it's about to backfire they did something purposely okay so some of y'all, y'all got y'all y'all probably thinking back. It was a time where you and this person was off balance. Whole world against me. Yup. You and this person was off balance, and they came back around because they knew you had somebody else that was coming into the picture. And guess what they did? They tried to act all nice and charming towards you and have sex with you, so they can come in between you and this other person that you were trying to get in, get to know. They don't love you. They had no feelings for you. They was all fake. I love you and I want to be with you. Page of cups in reverse. They have no feelings for you. They have no inspiration for you. They just wanted to take from you. This person from your past or your parent. Give me the outcome of this situation, spirit. Because it's pissing me off. Nine of pentacles, knight of pentacles, and the emperor. Shit is still coming to you, though. You still got your independence. You still got your independence, and you still got something coming towards you. This boss that you manifested, your, you, you straight manifested yourself into a boss, though, through all this hurt and this pain. The fool. You manifested yourself into a boss and able to take leaps of faith in something new, even when you're scared and don't know what's going on. 
because somebody did a whole lot of black magic to the point where they had you in confusion and they didn't want you they wanted you to be blind about the opportunity that was coming towards you they wanted you to be blind of your own <clears throat> your own how can i say it your own potential they didn't want you to see your own potential so they tried to blind you and strip you of all your talents and your goods since she was a fucking child since she was a child they showed you no love purposely because they knew if they showed you the right love and they watered you, you was going to grow into a beautiful blossom. But what they did not realize is that you are a fucking rose that grew from concrete. You can't... So so, so now that just made you into this emperor. You're going to go against all the odds. You're going to go against all the odds because you came out of nothing. Somebody purposely did you wrong as a child to damage your character, to bring you down. And it just made you a motherfucking boss. It just made you a boss. Now you can turn anything into something. Anything. Because it's not a pinnacle. This ain't. It ain't even really here. It's just something that's in the motions. This is like manifesting. Potential. Thinking. Contemplating and waiting. Because it's slow. So it's just something in the works. Turned into a payout. Nine of pinnacles. Levels you up to a motherfucking boss. You're able to take leaps of faith that nobody else is able to take. You're able to see things and sense things from ways that people, can, people can't even understand this shit. Somebody is very skilled at what they do. And somebody from your past, a parent or a lover knows that. And they hate it. And they try to hide it. They try to hide your gifts since you was a child. Give me a solid outcome, please, spirit. Give me a solid outcome, please, spirit. The magician, hello, you manifested yourself into a boss. You are a, ma you are a master a manifester, and they know it. And they don't want you being this star that you are, because you can manifest yourself into anything. Whatever you want, somebody don't know. Whatever you want, you can have. Whatever you want, you can have. And these people around you know that. Your psychic strength is off the fucking hook. Somebody's gifts is off the fucking hook. Nobody told you. I'm going to tell you right now. You got some gifts that don't nobody else have. Seven of Pentacles. And it's time for you to invest in your motherfucking self. Give these people the stiff arm. Give me my give me my space. I already got some shit on my, on my plate that I'm doing. I don't need your help. Because I know you this is fake ass help. Fake ass love. I don't need your love. I'm over it. I know this is a fake ass shit. The fuck? You don't, you don't want what's good for me? Like these people are trying to just get on your bandwagon just to say they they they, they gonna then they gonna say they made you. You didn't make shit. You tried to kill me, motherfucker. You didn't even want me being what it is that I am. Don't no, nah, don't clap for me now. Show me the magician as the outcome. You show me the magician as the outcome. Clarify the magician as the outcome. Clarify the magician as the outcome. Eight of Pentacles, the higher fan. And you working your way up to a higher level of commitment. Okay, somebody's like going through like a, if you in a job, you have like ran through rakings. You have started off as like the janitor and now you about to own this motherfucking company. You came out cleaning shit. You came out working under the table and now you about to own that shit. Somebody worked their way motherfucking up. Period. Could even be a tourist in here. Somebody could, somebody was even doing work on you since you was a motherfucking child. I'm going to just say that as well, too. Since you was a motherfucking child, they've been working on you. Queen of Pentacles. Not a, look, but you working your way up to a higher position. Mm, mm, mm. You see, that fucking situation was karmic than the bitch. They was not here to work with you. They was, they your enemy. They working in they, your shadow side. There's a real, true... Lovers, soulmate bond waiting for you. Could be a Gemini. This was a motherfucking karmic. Whether it even be in y'all know so much can be your mama, your sister, your auntie, your uncle, whoever. They was a karmic. The lovers just fell out again. You got a real soulmate bond coming out. That's waiting for you. This other person was just oh, that person was a demon. Trying to bring you in they hell. Ten of Wands. Yeah, trying to bring you in they stressful chaos. Trying to put burdens on you. Show me what's going on. Show me what's going on, spirit. Something just fell over. Temperance could be a Sagittarius in here. Somebody wants you to be in a love cycle with them. Gemini, that's that that lover that kept pulling, um, popping out. But they're being careless. See, this person is a whore. 
they're a professional player. They don't know how to settle down. I mean, they're trying to keep you in a love cycle with them. Nobody wants that. Like, this person is selfish. Authorities might have to get involved with this. Aquarius may be involved in here. Don't worry about anything. Your ancestors are on it. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. There's a brand new opportunity that they did not want you knowing about, but you're so close to it. There's about to be a new job, a new business, a new baby, some property, something, and it's coming. And there's this other person from your past that's trying to keep you in a love cycle with them that has no love for you just to be a part of this. Like, no, they can feel it or they've probably been getting readings on you. Show me what's going on. Yeah, they for sure been getting readings on you. And everything that you've been telling this person was going to happen, it came up in this readings. So that's the crazy part. I strongly see that. Now they know for a fact. Now you got them believing. Remember I said in the beginning, now you got them believing in some shit. You got their spidery senses going off. Okay, spidery senses going off because they see, oh, damn, she ain't crazy. Okay, damn, she off the hook. She off the chain. How the hell did she know that was going to happen before? Okay. It's complicated, though. Don't trust it, though. It's something dealing with a home. I already knew this. This person just needs a place to stay. Somebody just needs a place to stay. Strong as fuck. Somebody just needs a place to stay. Show me what's going on, spirit. What's going on, spirit? Sagittarius. Y'all see that? Could be a Sagittarius, but that's a whole stack. Could be a Leo. There goes a Leo in there as well, too. Didn't we already say that? Okay. Show me what's going on, spirit. <laughs> Manifesting. Somebody's trying to manifest this situation. Oh, shit. That was, there go Leo. Show me what's going on. Show me what's going on. Aries could be in here as well, too. Show me what's going on. Somebody just needs a fucking place to stay. Hard times. Yeah, somebody's going through some hard times right now. I was being careless and now they need somewhere to live. They lonely. Somebody's scared, don't want to be lonely. They know what they want. Talking about they want you. No, they don't. No, they don't. There's a fake spiritualist in here as well. Some type of police activity that came about as well, too. It's dealing with the reciprocal give and take of this person. Again, they feel like they know that you're going to give to them. You're a giver. But pay attention to their undertone, okay? They're lying. I feel like once you really listen to what they're saying and how they're saying it, you're going to be able to catch them in their lies. All right? Stand your ground when it comes to this person because they're not going to let up. Because it's going to be some type of unexpected change. The ambition of time is now. Hello? Did I say you was moving up to that new position, leveling up? And there's a whole lot of rumors and gossip about somebody getting arrested or arrest. Okay? Somebody is somebody knows some things or knew something was going to happen. They said it. They possibly told this person this. They did not. They thought she was crazy. But guess what? That shit came into play. And now they like, hold the fuck up. Let me double back. Now they believe in everything you didn't say. You probably didn't told this person you was going to be rich. You was going to be stable. You going to buy a house and all some old shit. Now they doubling back because now they believe you. Because of whatever just took place that happened. It could have been an arrest. Somebody could have got arrested and you could have said this person was about to get arrested. Yes, they've been having low self-esteem when it came to you. They don't know how to handle you. Or they've been saying you had low self-esteem. Okay, but again, everything that you said happened, happened. You know what you're talking about. You know what you're talking about. Some type of event took place that you said was going to happen. It happened. And now they're looking crazy because they know for a fact now you the real fucking deal. And guess what? You about to be on top and they about to be on bottom. I love you so much. Take care. <laughs>